Morning Nuggets. Okay, I wanted to make a quick video today <clears throat> because last night I had insomnia and uh, I thought I'd talk about that because uh, I never quite know what to do. I've had it all my life um, on and off and I go through like long periods where I do have it and then I don't, you know. Um, and there's a lot of things it's related to. It used to be related to having caffeine late at night uh, and then I stopped doing that and I don't have caffeine after about six o'clock or so, seven o'clock, and then so, so then it went away for a while, but then it came back, and then it goes away, and, and my eating habits affect it, and then no matter what I do, sometimes I just get it. <clears throat> um, so it's just a part of my life, right? I'll have insomnia where I just, I, I like last night, for example, I couldn't, I was just itchy. <laughs> it's just itchy and it's almost like little bugs are landing on me um just just tiny liches every so often enough that i'm like oh, oh, oh. and i i do that in general anyway it's weird it's kind of creepy i've noticed in my videos actually i'm i do this a lot I'm scratching a lot it might, might be annoying to watch um <clears throat> but um i had that last night and it's all it was also hot last night um but i had insomnia the thing is, I don't know what the best way to get through it is. I know that you're not supposed to look at computer screens or TV, right? Or blue light, you're not supposed to look at blue light. But when it's two o'clock in the morning and I'm lying there wide awake, you ha I have a couple of choices, right? I can either close my eyes and go through like, there's the, I used to meditate, so there's the whole Okay, relax your toes until you can't feel them. Relax your feet until you can't feel them and then work your way up your body and, and, and until you can't feel them, which is very hard to do when it feels like a little insect is landing and you're itching and, and you're hot. But there's a, there's a process you can go through of relaxing your body. Um, you can go through that process. You can uh, just sit there, close your eyes and try to drift your mind off to something to, to try and sleep, you know, force sleep um or you can get up and and just do something just go do something but then when i get up and do something which i kind of feel is the best thing to do rather than putting myself through the torture because i get stressed out man i like i, I got up last night at two o'clock and and i came to my computer because i'm like well what am i going to do I, i'm really not into watching television at the moment um i don't know i just feel very weird when I watch television I feel uncomfortable like I'm wasting time um, so I sat down on my computer and and uh, I played a game and I did a bit of writing and I sorted some stuff out um, but then I looked at the clock and it was three o'clock and I started to get anxious I'm like I gotta sleep I gotta sleep I gotta sleep because I, I did have stuff to do this morning it's like it's nine o'clock now I'm about to go out for the writing for the day but um, I get anxious I get tense I'm like I, I gotta sleep the, the hours are going I don't, but I don't know what else I can do. I think I just have to... I think the best thing to do when you have insomnia is just accept it, get up. If, if Unless you're one of those people who can just woo sleep. You're just like, I can control myself and go to sleep. If you can't, get up, do stuff, and continue as if you're not supposed to be sleeping. Because I was wide awake last night. It's not like I was tired and just my brain refused to sleep. I was just wide awake. I was not even remotely tired. And I should have been. There was nothing unusual in my day. Um, but this morning, of course, I'm tired. In the end, I got to sleep. I think it was about four o'clock this morning. I woke up at seven, so I'm on three hours sleep, which I've done a lot, so it's not that bad. I normally only sleep for about four or five hours anyway. Um, uh, but, yeah, I just, I don't know, I think, I just wanted to get it down in my video log so I can look back at this one day and go, remember how this thing has been an issue your whole life? I just, like, insomnia drives me nuts because I get into these, these long periods where I don't have insomnia and I think I've solved it, right? Like, where I'm, like, I'm in bed by midnight and I'm lying down and I'm asleep and I'm, like, I drift off and I wake up six hours later and I feel refreshed and I'm like holy shit I got this I got this and then something happens like maybe I oversleep for half an hour and I actually sleep for six and a half hours I can't sleep the next night it's such a tentative grip I have on my circadian rhythm 
that one thing goes wrong and it can knock me completely out of whack. I think what I, in an ideal world, actually what I would have is a, is, is a completely non-conformist um, sleep cycle. I think I should be sleeping an unusual cycle. I think I should probably be up till four in the morning and waking up at 10 o'clock or something like that. I think that's what my body wants to do. But I can't do that because when I wake up at 10 o'clock in the morning, I feel depressed. I, I feel really anxious and sad and I feel like I've missed the day. It feels weird to me. I just can't do it. The, the morning is productive. I have to be up in the morning. Um, even though I hate getting up in the morning and I'm not a good morning person, I just feel that if I wake up at 12, I'm behind the day. You know, I'm like, oh God, what's going on? I got, I got shit to do. Um, even though I'm a lazy fuck. So, yeah, insomnia sucks. I've got to stop banging the table. Look at that camera go. Um, yeah, insomnia really sucks. If you have it, it sucks for you too. I'm never going to take pills. My mother did that. She got addicted to them. My mother was a pill popper. It took us a long time to realize that. But she was on Ambien and... Um, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't say Metamucil. What's the other one? I can't remember. Anyway, she was on a couple of uh, sleeping pills her whole life and various pills she was popping her whole life. Um, and she kind of freaked out. And then eventually she was on like Prozac and stuff like that. Um, so I can't take that route. Just definitely not something I can do. I wonder if it's sugar. Well, not sugar. Um, uh, whatever uh, the uh, sugar substitutes, aspartame. Could be that. I've got to fix my soda. That's the one thing I haven't tried because of my addiction. Um, I could try a log of saying, okay, just quit soda for this amount of days. Well, I mean, ideally, I would say permanently. But, but as, a, as a study, quit soda for this amount of days and study your sleep cycle and see if those two things are related. Um, I have a lot of things I'm trying to fix right now. My weight. Oh, that's another thing. I'm going to talk about that in a sec. Um, so maybe right now is not the time, but I'm going to look back at this and I'm going to write it down and I'm going to do that. I'm going to give up soda for a while and study my sleep cycle and report back. Okay, the other thing I want to talk about is my weight. I've gained weight. <laughs> I have gained, it's only a pound, but I've gained. Um, my scales, I think, are really bad. And I think they might be wrong, but I know I haven't lost. So the point is, something is wrong. Um, I don't know what it is. Got to get back on the horse. Can't blame the pills. I'm not eating. I, I mean, I've had a couple of bad days. I had that pizza a couple of days ago. But... Look at me, where am I going with this? But could it really be that a pizza makes you gain weight? It just seems so unfair. I've gained weight. Back on the horse, back on the horse, back on the horse. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. I'm going to be eating fish today. Okay, that's the most important thing, the most important thing. I can't eat after 7 o'clock at night, can't eat before 8.30 in the morning. That's what my friend Jarrett said to me. I'm going to try that. Um, all right, hopefully I'll make it through today. Hopefully I can get some good writing done, even though I'm only on three hours of sleep. And I'm going to work on that um, soda versus sleep report. I'm going to do my white paper and I'm going to report back to you and let you know what the study finds. All right, you little nuggets. I hope you seize the day and build yourselves an empire. Cheerio.